Alrighty, so this morning's gems. Phidippides. This is amazing. This is a gem that's over 2,500 years in the making. Who is this guy? P-H-E-I-D-I-P-P-I-D-E-S. Divides by three. Um, he's basically, well, Google him for yourself. He's uh, very closely related to the word marathon that we have today. Um, but this goes back to like 500 BC. But in history books, it screams at number three. And now there's a big um, statue of this character that commemorates the official marathon, the original marathon, um, which is in uh, between Athens and Sparta. And originally there was a city called Marathon. But in the story of God, the names are commemorated with the exact letters that they are for the glory of the Trinity. Um, another example, I've got to preach on how God works. People say, you can solve all the names of the planets very easily, for example. For example, Venus. Okay? Um, Venus is half a love plus love. V-E, half love, and then the word sun equals love. That's 81. Three times three times three times three. Well, God in his sovereignty is Jehovah, the three-person God. God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost. So, man, apparently in his confusion calls it Venus after what he thinks to be some fictitious goddess out there, but the true God, Jehovah, in his sovereignty, says, no, it's going to be called V-E-N-U-S because those letters perfectly point to me, the triune God, the only true God. So I don't care what you think Venus means, the numbers are what they are. Three times three times three times three to the glory of the triune God, God the Father, Jesus Christ the Son, and the Holy Ghost, who is love. And then the V-E is half a love, followed by N-U-S, which is love exactly. So, are you understanding how Jehovah takes the glory for everything, despite what man thinks he's doing, <laughs> before the trillions of watching angels? Okay? So, here's a classic character in the story of God, Phidippides. Um, Phidippides, P-H-E-I-D-I-P-P-I-D-E-S. By Divine Lawrence, there's a statue of this character somewhere on planet Earth. I'll let you find it for yourself. Google it. It's very fascinating. The world is a treasure hunt for the glory of Jehovah. And, um, and then let's do the math on them quickly. 42, 51, plus another 21, 72, plus another 9, 81, plus PDS is uh, 104, 120 exactly. <whistles> Perfect. Starting with 24 triple eight, there's another ES 24 triple eight. Just good night, Phidippides. Mm -hmm. And then find love and Phidippides. It's like just pop off 12 points, you get love plus love. And uh, there you go, pop off the D and the H and then get the other two loves, Phidippides. Um, okay, what other gems this morning? A moment in time. This is, I got this gem while looking through the Globe and Mail. And the title of this article on Phidippides was branded, Moment in Time. Well, famous phrase in three words, moment in time divides by three. A single moment in time, we always say. Um, I love how I just get snippets of revelation. God's word and his voice to us is like raindrops. It's like, he waters us just like he waters the trees. It's like, as you're ready to get more up here, he just drops words into your mind, day by day, hour by hour. So, uh, this is really revelation right here. You know how sometimes we re uh, abbreviate the famous phrase Captain with Captain? <laughs> Captain Hook. <laughs> Think of Mr. Smee on the Disney movie. Captain! Captain! Um, well, why is that the case? Because the difference between these two uh, uh, statements or letters is 30 points exactly. So anywhere you write Captain or Captain, so, a serial, Captain Crunch, whatever. You remove 30 points, so whether you say Captain or Captain, whatever this knits together with to, to divide by 3, it all divides by 3. Okay? And then, of course, all the famous abbreviations in English do the same thing, like isn't. You've just popped out the O, which divides by 3. So whether you say isn't or is not, the whole phrase will divide by 3 with all that it chain links together with. And the same thing with, like, I have, or I've, you just popped off the H-A, which is 9, or don't, or do not, you just popped off the O again. So you're always popping out vowels that divide by 3 by divine ordinance. So whether you abbreviate something or expand it, 
it's a one-two punch for the number three. Okay. Um, then I got a fun one near the end of my uh, journey this morning. Booyah! <laughs> Booyah equals happy, equals family. 66 and six letters just like the word happy. Why does everyone know the word booyah? Why do the kids say booyah all the time? Especially on the sport court. Booyah! Perfect shot, perfect play, satisfying occurrence. Booyah equals happy. <laughs> you know why. God is the king of fun. Okay. Uh, most fun is like love plus love. So there's your booyah. Look at, find love and booyah. There's your B and your Y, half a love. You've got another nine points here, pure O's. It equals 66 equals happy. Booyah. It's a fun word. God is fun. <laughs> okay. Um, very cool. Bidipides. Bidipides. So I encourage you to uh, do a Google search for Phidippides and check out his place. That gem is over 2,500 years in the making because that goes back to a character um, whose name is roughly, they estimate, around 450 BC. And of course, all numbers reference Jesus because it's all about Jesus. And uh, the sooner you start living for the name of Jesus, the happier your life will be and the more miracles, like God will actually start working miracles on your behalf and your life will be what is called actually satisfying. <laughs> Okay, there you go. More to come. Lots more to come. I haven't even gotten started through like the, the Vancouver Sun in the province this morning. I was just racing around, dropping this all off. More to come. We'll get through it. We'll get more going.